Hi, I am Jeff from Kerala. Today in this video, I am going to show you how we can create your own forum website just for free. Means with free domain and all for free. Just remind that we are not going to use WordPress here in this video. We are going to use free platform called Freeflarum. So we are going to use this. So you can create a lot of professional looking forum website with the help of this tool. So before starting this video, let me show you what you are going to create in this video. See here, as you can see, you can put your own logo here in the search bar and flag post notification. There will get the notification. User can see all the tags. You can put like in this tag. This is a tag. So here, as you can see, color change according to the tags color. These tags are like a uh, category. So when a user click on the start discussion, then they can choose the tags like python django or anything like python and that's just like the stack overflow site so i want to tell that this website looks like a stack overflow and it also supports that and user can just type their question and they can just do lots of formatting and put put a code here like this there are many many other options also like and they can post a discussion and they can just put images and lots of other formatting is also support so here, as you can see it is very good like and reply and here is the edit many many options and here the share button user can follow and they will get the notification whenever new reply has come and the user will get a separate profile of them showing all the posts that they have done discussion settings they can change lots of should email and if you are the admin then you will get the separate admin panel in this video so let's get started on creating this website so at first you need to go to this website just preflarum.com you can go to the link in the description just type the url so you will get the subdomain i'll also tell you how you can do if you have a wordpress site or any other content management system site then how you can do for temporary purpose and there is method for professional purpose means a real real method also so i'll give you the docs so here you need to type that and you need to type your email and let's click on get my platform so after that you will get one email so you will get this website i have got this website so as you can see i got this email so you'll get this email and with the login and the password so let me copy the password and you need to click on this login button you'll get this login button as you can see and let me type the password and remember me and login so here as you can see i got this website for free in just a few clicks so let me show you how what you can do so when i click on the start a discussion it will show me this pop up like this so i can just type any question that i like so i write this question so here user can just type many things here are option like edit text then just can type and here the bold text they can type bold text like this they can type italic text and lots of lots of other here also support the code like this like this it also supports image bulleted leads emoji and lots of lots but now i know that emoji are all already supported by all the OS like mac os and windows like in windows windows plus period and let me click on the post discussion so as you can see i have put this bold code and this and lot so as you can see it comes with the formatting and here is the title and here is the reply button and following and lots of lots user can reply here and user can just click on this like button to like this reply and just click on edit delete many many options and here is the you they can also go to next forum from here and they can go to the home page like this and they can go to lots of options there is a separate profile like here so let me show you what you can do in the administrator here is the administration panel 
So there are lots of lots of features in this administration panel that you need to do. So here as you can see, this is the dashboard here. You can go to the basic and you can change the title to anything that you like. And here is the forum description. Let me know that it is shown in the search engine means it is for the search engine optimization. So let me show you what it does. So when I go to the view source, so here as you can see here is the meta tag called description. Here is the Corilon forum. So here is this is the description which will be put in the meta tag. If you know HTML, then you may know about this. So I can just type. And when I save here and when I refresh here, you'll see that this content is changed. It will be shown in the search engine like Google or anything. And here is the welcome banner. You can put the welcome banner if you want. So here is not a welcome banner. So I don't know why it is not showing. So it will show to you. You can change from here. And here is the email. So this is the email of the sender. So I recommend you to just go to the sign up for free in Google G Suite and you will get one free email according to your website or you can also get this free also. If you have a professional website then I recommend you to use others. And here are the permissions. You can turn on and off the permission like this. And here are the appearance. Like you can change the color of the header if you want and choose the color so it is hex color so you can just go to bing.com and search color picker and it will only show in the bing not in the google sorry so there are lots of other websites also like w3 schools you can go to there and you will get the hex format so here are many hex format this is the hex format you can get or you can also use it if you want here is the hex format and here is the dark mode or night mode if you want and here is the logo so it will show here let me choose one so now it is let me refresh here so as you can see now it is showing my logo you can put your logo like this and here is the favicon icon so let me choose so what does it do show here as you can see here is no icon so it will change to that icon so i have not put right but i prefer you to put the square image and here is the custom header so you can use the html to be displayed on the header and footer and many many options if you know html in css then you can do like this so you must know the html css for that so here as you can see here is not a good description means not a good food footer you can obviously change that you know html and css if you want then i will give in in your reply just comment down below and here's the main part called extension so let me show you one of the best extension that i like like there is tax so here is one called tax let me turn on you just need to click on that check button and it will turn on that tag now tag extension is added so now when i refresh here you'll see this one tag called general so you can also rename this tag like this like and here are a few other options that you can choose if you want and let me click on the submit button and let me refresh it and you'll see here and you can also add another tag like here and you can choose the color also like as when i want red in ff you can use the hex format here i have already told how you can get the hex format so here as you can see color i can just add another one like this i can just type and here in the color like hash and let me click on the submit button and as you can see i got this so this color is not too good okay okay you can put this if you want like this and here are other more like here is the analytics you can track the users and you can add the capture button if you want and many many you can add the login also like github login like you can get the 
you can also add the google login and you can also add facebook login by using here and you need to get the server key and client field just like that for adding those and you can put the likes in the post if you enable this so this is already enabled so you can you can also put lots of here like this and here is the math if you want to create a math forum then you can turn on this facebook login also here nickname changer and you can also add flag option and here is the you can also ban the separate ip address in your forum and here is the discord login if you want and here are so many filter options that you can check i prefer you to check these so like here is one so social share so i prefer you to just try all of those extensions and see what does it do so let me save change let me refresh here so i have just shown you some normal one so here is the share button as you can see you can share easily so so let me show you how you can add this in your website so this is the website so this is only the temporary solution not a permanent solution so i'll tell you the perm means uh, real solution of this so you can use it for a simple purpose if you do not want to do lots of extra stuff or hard stuff so at first let me edit this page and put the title forum and after that you need to go to document i'm using astra theme so it may be different if you are using astra theme then please follow me so if you are using another theme then it may be or may not be you need to just see that it is available in karen's theme astra theme and lots of other themes but not in all the themes so in the sidebar i'm going to choose the no sidebar and content layout to full with stress and disable primary header disable title disable breadcrumb disable all should be disabled and when i now see the space so you can see it is just a blank nothing in it so here is this log i will just change it to forum and let me let me update it and let me go to the forum so here as you can see this is blank now we have to just click on this add button and you will find this custom html you can search it custom html so we're going to use the custom html then just copy paste the code from the description so from the comment comment box so it will i cannot put in description because html format is not supported in the description let me update it let me rephrase here so now as you can see i got this website so let me show you how you can edit this so if you the src so in the src attribute of this iframe tag you need to put your own website here so just put your website here and you can put the this you can put this text if you want so it will be shown if the browser do not support it so let me see if ie support it or not because browser condition are very critical nowadays means ie do not support lots of website so i think ie support it let me see if it support or not so as you can see it is not supporting in this website so it do not support in the ie because because i do not have that much functionality but in other website it will show like this so as you can see this is working perfectly you just need to change this url and you'll get, the, get this website with the link of your website so hope you like this if you like this then do not forget to like subscribe and share this video and please support us and thank you for this video stay tuned goodbye